Hello everyone, this is Roderick Jackson, Bavanci Design. We're going to construct in two parts the platonic solid called the icosahedron. We're going to use the golden ratio to adjust the planes to start the construction of this icosahedron. Let's get started. We're going to create a new file. We're going to call it a icosahedron. We're going to use the default template. I'm going to go into the model section. And we're going to make some adjustments to the datum planes. Edit definition, adjust outline. The width will be, I'm just going to paste in the golden ratio here. And we're going to remove the number one for the width and the height. We're going to make one inch. And click OK. As you can see, you don't see that datum plane anymore because it's too small relative to the size of the other planes. But we'll correct that as we finish adjusting them all. Edit definition. Just outline. Again, remove the number one for the width, and the height will be one. Click OK. And now for the last plane. Just outline, paste, remove the number one, and the height will be one. Okay, now we will resize, and all the datum planes are now in view. As you can see, they do not match edge to edge. So now we'll be again to construct four rectangles based on these datums. So we'll go to sketch. I'm choosing rectangle, center rectangle. This dimension will be one. And this dimension will be as we annotate it in the adjustment of the planes. Okay, on to the next. We'll do this for all three planes. Angle from the center. One. And paste in the golden ratio. Delete the one. That'll give us the width. So now we have one left. To be this one. Sketch on 
that plane. Rectangle, rectangle from center. One. Paste in the golden ratio. Okay, now we're going to actually hide the datums. And now we have our curves represented. Three rectangular boxes that's going to allow us to construct the remainder of the curves to create the icosahedron. So let's go ahead and start creating those curves. Create datum curve. And we're going to go from the vertex here to the vertex here. And we're going to continue that to all the vertexes of each one of those points are complete. Wow, how quickly it develops.
Okay, now I'm going to spin my model around just to make sure I don't have any open gaps or missing lines. It appears we have everything connected well here. And now I'm going to do a little cleanup. I'm going to place these three sketches in a group. I'll call them base sketch. And I'll place all these curves in a group also. I'll call them construction. And there we have it for video one. On the next video, I'll show you how to complete surfaces on all of these curves, merge them together, and create the platonic solid called the icosahedron. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, Bavansi Design, and have a wonderful day.